a legendary final suited for a legendary victor. Novak Djokovic has won a record 8th Australian Open title, coming back to defeat Dominic Team 6-4, 4-6, 2-6, 6-3, 6-4. Novak began the match on fire, breaking Team early to go up 3-love. He stretched things out to 4-1, and from this point forward, Dominic began to settle in. Team held twice and broke Novak to level us at 4 apiece, but Novak once again played solid tennis to win the next two games and take the set. In the second set, Team actually got first blood, breaking Djokovic in the third game. He maintained this advantage until the eighth game, playing a sloppy service game here to give the Serbian the break. Their break of serve fest continued in the following game as Djokovic played a sloppy, controversial for all to put Team in the position to serve out the set. I say this game was controversial because Novak received two time violations, which meant a loss of first serve on the second offense. Novak was not happy at all with this, going as far as touching umpire Damien Dumasois' shoes and saying that he wanted to be famous. Drama aside, team closed the second set out, and while Djokovic's poor play helped him a good bit, Dominique's adjustments of taking more aggressive court positioning was the boost he needed to get over the hump. After the second, both players left the court and surprisingly, Djokovic came out with much less energy than his Austrian counterpart as he quickly got down love 4, losing 6 games in a row. He got on the board in the 5th game of the set, but team's double break lead was too difficult to recover from as Nolier dropped the second set on the Austrian's 4th chance at asking. Here, Djokovic went off the court for some medical attention and came back better in terms of energy. After knocking on the door multiple times, Novak finally broke Dominic's serve at 3-4 in the second set and closed it out in typical Djokovic fashion at love. Novak clearly upped his level, but Dominic's drop in second serve numbers helped the serve get that lone, necessary break. A shaky third game from team handed Djokovic the first break of the fifth, and he consolidated this after saving two break points. He had a chance at a double break when team was serving 2-4 down, but the Austrian was simply too strong. Djokovic was able to hold it together and seal the deal on his own terms. This win gives Novak his first slam final victory after being two sets to one down. With his 17th slam win, Novak not only inches closer to Nadal, but takes the world number one ranking away from him come Monday. I did have a slight feeling that Novak will come back despite the energy drop, seeing that team will probably be nervous in the crucial points of the fourth. Still, that takes nothing away from my amazement at his comeback because Novak was so far from himself in those second and third sets it would be easy to bet against him. His ability to turn things around and will himself to victory is unbelievable, but with Novak Djokovic, this word is in constant repetition. Dominic played an incredible final and I feel bad he wasn't able to get over the hump because he's an incredibly hard worker and would be a deserved victor. His fall was similar to Muguruza's as he wanted this so bad, but nerves and clutch play from their opponents held them back from victory. He for sure will get his Grand Slam trophy in the near future, but for now, we have to pay our respects to the King of Melbourne.